Hello everyone, it's Paul Maglev here with another episode of Train Mechanics Simulator 2017. And we're somewhere completely different from where we were previously. We were, uh, in the previous episode in the electric locomotive, uh, engine shed. But now we're in the steam locomotive engine shed because, uh, how do I explain it? I thought there were, like, a bunch of other levels in the electric engine shed that I would have to do before we could actually get to here. So I thought to myself I would just do some of those electric missions off camera, but it turns out there were only two missions left, so you really didn't miss much of anything, really. There was a glitch, though, where I saw one of the trains was operating, uh, down the line, one of the electric locomotives was going down, uh, the, uh, rails, and my train, when I was trying to collect another locomotive, just clipped straight through. They just ghosted through each other. It was really weird uh, to see that happen. That's and I hadn't ever seen any of the trains that I had repaired or maintained to actually get uh, back out into uh, operation moving down the road. So I thought, uh, yeah, I may as well get to this as soon as I can because I really want to show you uh, the steam locomotives here that are available uh, for us to work on and some of the improvements that I can point out can be done in the game. Repair the brake calipers, okay. So, oh, and the other reason I wanted to d move on to the steam locomotives was that I felt like I was just dragging my feet. And I felt that I didn't want to have to do too much uh, content or material that was related to that when uh, there were other things to take note of. Oh, and this drive uh, shaft is really weird. I'll show you uh, if it'll focus on where I want it to. Because this is tiny little piece here, which I don't know why it's like this. Usually the uh, this portion of the Walshirt's valve gear assembly is actually mounted to the drive wheel axle arrangement instead of adjacent to it uh, in most locomotive prototypes and I'm getting this indication that I need to remove this connecting rod first and then we'll be able to take this off and then we'll be able to take this off so we can get these connecting rods out so we can get to these broken brake calipers Let's see if there's any, uh, bad brake calipers on this side. Nope, I don't think so. I think we got all the pieces, right? Yep, all brake calipers have been, uh, accounted for. So we should be able to just go to the mechanics workbench and repair them all. That's the other reason I wanted to go straight to here, because I've upgraded the mechanics workbench enough to where I'm guaranteed to repair all the parts because most of these pieces that we're going to be dealing with are going to not be electronic so there's not a very high likelihood that we're going to break anything while we're trying to repair. Installation mode. We're going to need to put those brake shoes back in. And then we're going to stick this connector in. This bit in. Gonna stick this small connector in here, which, graphically speaking, uh, doesn't have any holes in it like it's supposed to. And then we can put the connecting rod in. And we can sign off on that one. Oh. Repair the brake calipers. Is there another one I overlooked? I'm gonna go into the testing mode, see if there's anything I overlooked. Because there's only three brake calipers on this side. This doesn't have any issues. This doesn't have any issues. And this doesn't have any- Oh! Oh. Oh, I must have overlooked- I overlooked that one. Do I still have one in my inventory? Oh, yes I do. Should have known there was something I overlooked. As always. Gonna go install the last brake caliper. There we go. Now we're able to sign off. And you might be able to see an animation of the Walshirt's valve gear assembly 
that isn't very accurate. Uh, when we see this train backing out, or locomotive, I should say. You see how the wall shirts, valve gears, assemblies? It's gonna be a little difficult on this portion. But you see how it just stays in a constant position like this? It's not supposed to do that. It's supposed to... It's supposed to move in such a way that it's always facing to the right of the axle that it's affixed to. So you'd stick it to the drive wheel, got the drive wheel, Here's the central axle. You always have it facing to the right, I think, of that. Or left. Uh, I think it might depend on the side. Shoot. Citation needed! Uh, it might be easier just to show you this image, or JPEG here, from uh, the Wikimedia Commons, if I can pull one out. To kind of show you how it's supposed to properly work. So, job order number two. We received a report from... A uh, from the relay station about a damaged steam engine, which is located in the vicinity of the Great Lakes region. Find it and bring it to the repair shop. Done. Find the train that is located in the Great Lakes region, okay? Resync the audio. Okay. So we're over at the, uh... I think we need to go and make a right turn at this point. And I think I need to turn the volume down a bit. At least for me. That's better. I just hope that this was still recording while that was uh, happening. So we should be able to get to the Great Lakes region fairly fast. Or not. I think I've gone the wrong way. It might have been faster to go the other way. But I guess we're going to take this detour through the mountain pass again. We've been through it before. But it's really nice because we can go really fast at uh, very realistic uh, curves because the curvature of the tracks in this game is so sharp that you really can't accurately depict high speeds. Let's check that map again. Our trajectory is going in the correct direction. Might want to be careful. Oh. Yeah, that was really janky. And for some reason, I don't have enough momentum to actually keep us going, even though we were going downhill. So I don't know what kind of momentum logic is in there. I should have been able to keep going. So is there really anything I can say? Any updates? Uh, that are train related or something? I don't really think so. I was browsing Bricklink again. Seeing if there was something that tickled my fancy. But I just really couldn't... Uh, find anything. And some of the things that are that out there that are for sale, they're just... Because they're out of production, their value is appreciated so exorbitantly that uh, I don't think anybody in their right mind would actually want to buy them. And I think we're going the wrong way. Yep, we're going the wrong way. I can see the locomotive though, so we should be able to just keep going forward and overcorrect and then back up. Oh, this is a nice leg. Anyway. We should be able to stop right here. We're gonna have to inch forward a little bit more across the point before we can back up. And then we should be able to go undo that. There we go. But I think that what's interesting about uh, the engine shed is 
I, I'm ta I'm just kind of rambling at this point, as if you haven't noticed. I should probably go back to where I was previously. So yeah, I was looking at the things on Bricklink that tickled my fancy that... I probably would have wanted in the long term. And realized that it just wasn't going to be the kind of thing that... Uh, would have been... Uh, suitable at this time. I'm just gonna save up on stuff. Because I think it's a smart thing to do at this point. One thing that always confounds me, though, is that the steam locomotives, even though they're really large prototypes, they don't have tenders attached to them, and we don't do any tender work to repair any of the components uh, related to that. But we should be able to head back to the engine shed just fine. I was really disappointed with the session's testimony. I was hoping that we'd hear something interesting, but... Uh... He kept a really tight lip, and... It's... I was really hoping he'd say something, like, groundbreaking, but... Uh, nothing really happened, as is most things are in life. What's the speed limit? 45 on this turn? You gotta be crazy. I'm not gonna go that fast, even though I probably should. Because there's no speed limit in this game! Uh, at least when it comes to the physics. Because we can't fly off these tracks. But yeah, the testimony happened. I tried to listen to it live, but uh, the DVR wasn't cooperating with me. So I tried to listen to it online. Apparently the entire footage was available on uh, a video posted by the New York Times in its entirety. It was probably also available on C-SPAN as well. And when I looked at it, I, sp I spent like two hours trying to watch the whole thing, and I just saw a whole lot of nothing. And I guess that's just the way it's going to be. Uh, for now. I don't think he's going to say anything else. There's just a bunch of other people that are probably going to testify. Uh, under the Russian investigation and all that. But I think in the grand scheme of things, uh, that's just kind of outside of the scope of what I should be immediately concerned about. But maybe I shouldn't, I don't know. I just feel like... How do I explain the sort of uh, conundrum I'm in that now. Because I really don't... Uh, exactly know what to say, because I don't want to step on anyone's toes. Because I know the, uh, general consensus is that nobody wants to take sides at this point. At least if you're in the entertainment industry. Or at least there would be repercussions, I would think. It appears that the wheels in the front truck have been damaged. Let's go fix that and then replace the front blade. Which is just their way of saying the plow or cow catcher. Oh yeah, these look really bad. So let's just uh, focus on that. We'll pop this out. Apparently it's not mounted to the axle very potently because we can just slip it right off like it was a banana off a peel. And then we can take this off, which is only uh, affixed with four different screws, even though I think in real life they're actually riveted in place. 
And that was a weird animation, but uh, we should be able to fix this uh, fairly quickly. Any other updates? I don't think I can uh, possibly imagine any. I am going out to the theater tomorrow. We're gonna see... My friend and I are going to see my cousin Rachel. I'm not saying which friend it is, of course, but it's not the same friend I saw last week or the week before. I wish I wouldn't focus on that. So we should be able to just plop this back in. I don't know why these handlebars are glowing red. But they're not guiding my sleigh tonight, so we shouldn't have to worry about that. Okay, and I think that's our job accomplished. Mission accomplished. Is there any... what else did I want to say? If there was any other updates I wanted to actually say or mention. Here's the steam engine's truck assembly is damaged. Find the damaged parts and make repairs. Check the condition of the brake calipers as well. Okay. So we should be able to go out to that. This wheel does not look good, and we're going to have to take a lot of pieces out in order to reach it. So we're going to need this... What? Oh, right, I'm in installation mode. I need to take this connecting rod off first. Then I have to take off this counterweight, which technically is not a counterweight, but take your word for it, game. I know the developers aren't that familiar when it comes to uh, the mechanics behind trains, and I don't think a lot of people actually do. But I feel it's kind of disappointing because one of the most important things that you do or should do when you're making a game that has a niche audience that loves trains, for example, is that you have to make it look accurate and right as best as you can. You can get away with it on some things that have a larger periphery demographic or a general audience, but I don't know. I just feel when it comes to these kinds of things, this is where you can't mess up, or at least you shouldn't, but I think what was I thinking about? We need to pop this out. Then the brake connector, because for some reason we can't take the brakes out from this side until we take that cord out. And for some reason that's not the case over here. I think that's one of the other glitches that I have to go mention to the developers uh, in one of my reviews at some point in the future. There's a lot of bad drive wheels on this one. Engine's truck assembly. I would call it the drive wheel assembly, but okay. Uh, check the condition of the brake calipers. I think we've got that all sorted as well. But I think it actually will want us to use the testing mode to check the rest of them, just to be sure, before we can sign off. Was there anything else? By it, I mean, by gosh, time did fly right by. I'm looking at the timer over here on uh, my recording software. You can't actually see it, but uh, this thing's been going on for like 20 minutes already. I didn't think we'd actually uh, get so much done. I thought there would be a lot more room for uh, extra missions and stuff, and objectives. Let's try to pop this bad boy back in. 
feel like putting all the wheels back in first. It'd be really cool if uh, rivets were a mechanic that I could do in this game, where like you just use a blowtorch on a rivet, and then you use a rivet driver or whatever you call it to hammer it into place. Kind of works like a jackhammer. I think they just call it a riveter. But I feel like there's supposed to be some sort of a fancy name for it. And then we'll get this connecting rod over to the piston, and we need to insert this one last piece, this brake caliper connector, which is all fine and dandy. Oh, I still have some pieces to stick back in. Be able to stick this back in and this back in. There we go. But there's still one last piece to install that I've overlooked. It's over here. And then we'll be able to plop this back in. And that should do it. And we've basically been able to save the company approximately $10,000 because they were planning to pay $14 grand on this order, and we save them that 10 grand that they'll use for something else, which is going to have some of that go directly into our pockets to upgrade some of our workbenches. Am I going to have to go out for the next mission? Okay, so I think this one's just going to roll itself right in. Repair the we rear wheels and their axles. The rear suspension of the rear wheels also needs to be repaired. So this rear truck assembly is just going to be taken straight out. Right out of the bat. Yeah, because this doesn't look fantastic. But we'll make it all nice and pretty again, and functional. There really wasn't much to actually attach this to, was there? Because the rest of this assembly to the rear truck... Or, uh, oh my gosh, why am I calling it that? Uh, but the uh, trailing wheel assembly... Yes, the trailing wheel assembly... Uh, we just took all the pieces off of it, aside from the actual base frame of it. It's kind of weird, because some of the pieces become invisible uh, when you go into the assembly modes and stuff. So let's just take a hop back over here. We should be able to wrap this one up uh, quite nicely. So when we look at the rear truck, and, oh wait, if we look at the rear truck here, there's the obvious uh, frame for the rear uh, trailing wheel assembly. But when we actually look at it, some of this vanishes. And I'm not entirely sure why that's the case. Is it to provide a better visual aid to make it easier to see what I need to install? I'm not entirely certain. But I think that's going to wrap it up on this order. And it should be able to roll right back out again. So yeah. Uh... What was I going to say? So yeah, this is basically what the work looks like over at the steam locomotive engine shed. We're go the way the engine shed works over here, we basically get to do all the other missions from 1 to 25. And 
We do that here instead of a everywhere else for a reason I can't explain. Because the other levels, I mean the other uh, workstations that we've got, we were able to go onto the one that came after it after doing like 15 jobs. So I worked 15 jobs in the diesel electric engine shed and then I'd be able to go to the electric engine shed, do 15 jobs there and then uh, be able to do the jobs over here. But one of the things that Yeah, I don't want to accept the next job, it'll require me to go out. But what I want to say is that because so many levels are going to be available to me at my disposal to show you, I feel like I need to uh, kind of consolidate. And by that I mean I'm going to be only showing you some of the uh, premier levels, or not premier levels, some of the uh, levels that typify what it's like to work in this engine shed. So I'm going to show you some of the early stuff, like levels like this, which I finally accomplished. In the next episode, we're going to take a look at one of the other prototypes that's available in this game, and we're going to go and work on that assembly to see if we can fix uh, that prototype as well. And then... I think there might be an episode after that where we get to do the uh, we get to do the missions that are near the end of the game. Uh, missions like 20 to 25, if we can squeeze it in that much, or something like that. So yeah, that's what I wanted to say. I, I feel like I really shouldn't have spent so long trying to explain that, but I feel like I want to get my point across and I want to be as clear as I can. So I will see you all in the next video, whenever that is. So until then, take care, stay awesome, stay true to yourself, and remember to never give up. Bye, everybody.